Hi, beautiful people. You're welcome back to Produce Kitchen. Today, we're making a creamy broccoli and sausage pasta. So good. If you're new here, you're welcome. Thank you so much. And consider subscribing if you haven't done so. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much. I love you guys. So let's get into the video. For today's recipe, we're going to be needing 400 grams of Elike pastas or Fusli pastas. 400 grams of sausages right here i'm using spicy beef sausages about four to five hundred grams of um broccoli okay so this one i'm gonna clean it up and then by the time i'm done it's gonna be around four to five hundred grams next i'll be needing one onion 300 grams of sour cream 200 grams of heavy whipping cream one teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of garlic powder, and one teaspoon of cinnamon powder. Also, I, I need um, half a tablespoon of salt for the pasta. Okay, so first, I'll go ahead right now and put my water for the pasta on the heat. Okay, so while the water is heating up to cook the pasta, I'll start making the sauce. So right now, I'm going to go ahead and cut up my sausages, okay? I cut my sausages a little bit um, into um, bigger sizes, okay? Because I want to feel it when I put it in my mouth, okay? So when I chew it, I should be able to feel my sausages. So I cut them into bigger pieces. You could cut them smaller if you want to. So here I am. I'm done cutting my sausages. I'll go ahead right now and cut up my broccoli, Okay. Also the broccoli, I didn't want it to melt up in the, in the um, pot. So I cut it into bigger chunks. Okay. You could, if you have kids that are really picky, then you would want to cut them into smaller sizes. So right here, I'm done cutting up my broccoli also. The water is boiling now for my pasta. So I put half a tablespoon of salt and put in my pasta so this pasta is supposed to cook for nine minutes but i'm gonna cook it for just five minutes and then take it off the heat because I'm, it will cook a little bit some more minutes in the sauce so i don't want it soggy so next i put my frying pan on the heat and put two to three tablespoons of olive oil i think i forgot to mention olive oil when i was listing the ingredients next i put in my onion my chopped onion stirred it for a few seconds and then added my sausages to it. Then I let it cook. I let my sausages brown and my onions caramelize. Okay, the onions have to be brown and um, release its sweetness. Caramelize and not burning. So you're going to have to be careful when you're making this recipe. Then next I added my heavy whipping cream to it. And then my sour cream too. I stirred it a bit and um, started adding my spices. So I added about um, one teaspoon of black pepper. If you want it less spicy, you could add half a teaspoon, but one teaspoon should be okay. And then one teaspoon of garlic powder and one teaspoon of cinnamon powder. Really, I you don't have to skip the cinnamon powder because it gives it a unique taste, okay? And next I added my broccoli to it. When I'm making my vegetables, I don't like them overcooked and I don't like my vegetables soggy. Okay, so this um broccoli, I like it crunchy when I'm eating it. So I I simmered it for less than uh, um, three to four minutes, not more. And then I added my pasta to it. You know, the pasta is not, it's half cooked, let's say. So I added it to it and let it, um you know, mixed it up. While I mixed it up, I, I let it cook for, let's say, another two minutes and then it was ready because I didn't have to cook it long because I didn't want the um, broccoli to overcook or the pasta to overcook. Okay. So when I turned it out and the cream came out and everything, you know, got married, I took it off the heat and my lunch is ready. Okay. So right now, I'm going to come closer and give you guys a close-up of this goodness. Oh, it's, you know, the creaminess, it was so creamy, so, and then the vegetables were crunchy and the sausages gave it that saltiness. If you noticed, I didn't add any salt to this dish because the, the salt in the sausage was 
more than okay for it okay and the sour cream too made it a bit salty so right here i'm dishing out and i just want you guys to take a look take a closer look at it what do you think <laughs> so don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so i'm going to go ahead now and devour my lunch thank you so much for watching see you next time bye